Hey guys, right here in these piney wood forests in East Texas is one of the coolest serpents that you'll ever see in your entire life. And uh, he actually just shot up underneath his pine straw and I don't honestly know exactly where he is, but we'll see if we can dig him out. Oh, I see a piece of him. Let's see here. This guy right here is the speckled king snake. This is one of two king snakes that we have in the state of Texas. This one right here is Lampropeltis jatula holbrookii, and the other one we have is Lampropeltis jatula splendida, otherwise known as the uh, desert king snake. Now, speckled king snakes and desert king snakes look a lot alike, and that's because they actually integrate. They will breed with one another. And this guy actually has a lot of features that look similar to a desert king snake. He's got black blotches going down his back rather than actually having a full yellow modeling going all the way down and in between each scale. Um, the majority of these guys you'll see have beautiful yellow speckles and they always tend to have this yellow belly as well. And uh, Desert Kings all have a black belly. But both of them are absolutely gorgeous snakes and one of my favorite snakes because they eat other snakes. Now I know I'm a snake lover and I shouldn't like any snake seeing harm. But uh, this is like the coolest thing in the world to see because snakes actually smell this king snake and they will get afraid of them. They will go into like a completely different disposition. I mean, I've seen rattlesnakes encounter desert king snakes and just immediately cover their head up with coals, back themselves away. They'll, they'll do bluffing strikes. They'll quit rattling to avoid vibrations that'll attract the king snake to them. And uh, it's pretty much to no avail because if the king snake really does want to eat them, he'll take them out. And it's amazing to watch because these guys will just, they'll ease their way up there and they do short little tongue flickers. And uh, as they get themselves close, they'll eyeball right on his head. And they won't always get them right by the head because that avoids them getting bitten. And so then they'll bite them on the head and then immediately just throw a bunch of coals around them and start suffocating them. So they do kill by constriction. And then people always ask, what if they do get bit? The cool thing about these dudes is they actually are resistant to crotalid venom which basically doesn't mean that they're immune to it because they will get sometimes minor swelling. Um, I mean, I've, I've seen them actually take bites from copperheads and diamondbacks and they did swell up a little bit, but it doesn't affect them like sincerely as, as it would a human being. Like it doesn't kill them at all. It just may make them not want to eat the, the prey item that they were hunting. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool because it's actually to do with their, their body, the biology of the actual snake themselves. Like it's almost like the venom can't even bind to their tissues because most crotalids have a hemotoxic venom which will basically just tear apart the, uh, the blood vessels and the tissues inside. And so it can't even bind to their, uh, their body tissues, which is incredible. So they're actually specifically adapted for eating snakes. But they also eat birds, mice, um, frogs. They'll eat anything around water because these guys are commonly found around water. So they'll also eat fish as well. And they do grow to lengths of over six feet in some cases, but most of them are average around 18 to 36 inches. So around three feet would be a pretty good size one if you see one. I don't commonly see this dude. So man, do I praise the Lord for this guy because absolutely gorgeous snake. And uh, he's also a king snake which in my opinion are some of the coolest snakes in the world so speckled king snake fellas we'll let them go and uh, praise god for this guy Uh oh, he just caught whiffed, dude. Look at him. He's trying to back up, I think. Oh, the He's getting the heck out of there. He's getting the heck out of the dodge. <laughs> Look at that. 
Yeah, he is. He's like trying to spend some Ooh. That rattlesnake is scared out of his mind right now, dude. Yeah, he is. 